Hello, I'm Dr. Donald Reed, and this is Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to look at the British classic Gorgo, brought to you by the King Brothers. This is probably the loudest of the very important Eugene Lowry trilogy of giant dinosaur on the loose movies. Fire! Gorgo is the King Brothers production, a British monster movie that falls under the genre of a pretty good picture until the guy in the silly rubber suit shows up. Uh, Eugene Lowry made three of these, the giant behemoth and of course the classic Harryhausen Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. It's kind of a cycle because Beast from 20,000 Fathoms directly inspired the Japanese ripoff, which is pretty good in itself, uh, Gojira, which was re-released as Godzilla in the States and as far as I know is still going strong. I like this picture. I saw it as a kid in Westwood. I really was enthralled by it. That's William Sylvester on the right. He later played Dr. Haywood Floyd in Kubrick's 2001. So Gorgo is put on display here in this big pit, kind of like one of the Creature sequels. And it's really sad, and this boy bonds with him. And suddenly it's revealed in this very scene that Gorgo is a baby, which means that an adult, that's Gorgo, that's Gorgo's mother, and she's coming for him. Now, believe it or not, when I was 10 or 11, I was very wowed by that scene. And here comes Mom destroying miniature London. They did some pretty cool stuff full-size in London, panic in the streets. They built a full-size Gorgo, put it on the back of a truck, and drove it through Piccadilly Circus. And I remember thinking, that looked really cool. Uh, here's people running, screaming. They blow up the Big Ben. I think the Tower Bridge gets knocked down too. For some reason, that's an American destroyer. Now they cut to these British guys. <laughs> I like stock footage. Um, anyway, this is a good movie. Look at that stock from something. Oh, there's Gorgo. You should check this out. It's, it's probably one of the best British films ever made. Fighting crescendo of sights never before beheld by human eyes and adventures never before experienced by any man. Okay, I'm being sarcastic. This is incredibly realistic, shockingly convincing, but dumb and like many things you've seen a lot. Made a lot of money, this picture for MGM, and I loved it when I was a kid. No motion picture of our time has ever unleashed shock spectacle of such scope and realism. 